Yeah. <laughs> you can't miss that. So you ready? Yeah, we're, we're as ready as we'll ever be. <laughs> as chair of the resilient Hartford, I find that due to the state of emergency declared by Governor Scott as a result of COVID-19 pandemic and pursuant to addendum six to executive order 01 dash 20 and act 92, this public body is authorized to meet, meet electronically. In accordance with Act 92, there is no physical location to observe and listen contemporary, contemporaneously to this meeting. However, in accordance with the temporary amendments to the open meeting law, I confirm that we are A, providing public access to the meeting by telephone or video. We are using Zoom, right? Not Microsoft, right? I don't know, anyway. <laughs> We're using Zoom for this remote meeting. All members of the commission have the ability to communicate contemporaneously during this meeting through this platform and the public has access to contemporaneously <coughs> and if desired, participate in this meeting by speaking into the phone or computer microphone. B, providing public notice of instructions for accessing the meeting. We previously gave notice to the public of the necessary information for accessing this meeting, including how to access the meeting using telephone, video, other electronic means in our posted meeting agenda. Instructions have also been provided on the town website at www.hartford-dt.org. C, providing a mechanism for the public to alert the public body during the meeting if there are problems with access. If anyone has a problem, please email Matt Osborne at mosborn at hartford-vt.org. And D, continuing the meeting if necessary. In the event that the public is unable to access this meeting, it will be continued to a time and place certain. Please note that all votes taken during this meeting that are not unanimous will be done by roll call vote in accordance with the law. That's it. Great. <clears throat> so. Hello, Laura, Ash, and Laura, and Karen, and Becky. Hello. Great to meet you all. And Ashton, hi. 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 Hello. I'm going to keep my camera off. I pulled a little something in my hip, so I'm just doing some stretches here. Okay. Um, I'm going to. The next item on our agenda is review. Of, uh, if that's okay with you, Kai, that I am going ahead. Review of our meeting last Wednesday. So, what we did last Wednesday um, was state uh, some history of the committee and history of this particular project in Clifford Park. And um, then we stated some uh, of our uh, progress so far with Kat and Karen developing the plan and um, said that we needed uh, members, more members to help us on a steering committee uh, to start with and other tasks as they came up. Does anybody have anything to add to that? I'll no. just add that I threw the Zoom uh, recording in the chat for anyone that wasn't able to attend and would like to see that video and hasn't had a chance. Great. Kat, could you also summarize a little bit of what you said about um, the plan for the park? Yes. Our timeline for the park is to try and complete our contract of services. Sometimes you're all breaking up. The process, um, helping the committee to facilitate the planting of the park. Hey, Kat, I think you're uh, Next, uh, two weeks. We'll start off with a soil building workshop 
um, it's online. So. Can you hear me now? Yeah. I can hear you, but you're kind of coming in and out. I'm I think if you turn my video your, off. your camera off, your, um, your audio might be a lot cleaner. Yeah, my internet has been funny all day and I've been on Zoom all day. Um, so uh, we will start off on the 26th with a soil building presentation. I'll explain a bit about the, the science behind how we build soil and we'll cater it specifically to the needs of Clifford Park, sending a, putting out a timeline, um, which will be largely dependent on the resources that we're able to procure. And I, I see they're already coming in, that's great. And the committee that we're able to build and I see people are already coming into that. So that's really great. Um, after that, uh, we, the soil building process will continue for years, but we will start with some heavy soil building and mapping out the just the basics of where are the paths going to be and where are the beds going to be. What do we want the space to look like um, from the ground up? Two weeks after the soil workshop, Karen Ganey is going to present about design. And um, I'll let her talk a little bit more about that. And then through the summer, um, through the end of June, uh, early July, we will be working with this committee through a community design process to make sure that we are designing a food forest uh, or a space that is needed and use, used by the community with desired species in it, um, including a maintenance plan. Karen and I will be facilitating the process with the town uh, for approval of that design. And we hope that that will all happen before our contracted services are over. Then in the fall, we can plant. There will be some planting along the way to build soil and perhaps some keystone species, but uh, most of the planting would happen in the fall as the weather begins to cool down and ideally the rains come back. Great. Um, wonderful. Karen, do you have anything to add? Um, sure. I mean, I can just give a brief intro into the species and design kind of workshop, which is just going to cover, um, kind of a wide array of different perennials for pollinators that will bring insects, um, plants that are good for nutrifying the soil and um, maybe some medicinals and varieties of fruit trees. And so we're gonna cover those species, but also design elements, like what to think through, what questions to be asking, and um, you know how to kind of create a beautiful design uh, based on what we know from the site. And um, yeah. plants, mm -hmm. which has a name. Oh, well, so like creating polycultures or sometimes you hear a guild. Guild. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. 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 Sure. So it's going to be fun and really engaging and um, yeah, and interesting to kind of look at the options that we have and what, what, what the community, I mean, ideally a lot of what will land and be planted is um, are some plants that the community would really like to grow and nurture. Um, so How are we going to know what those are? That's what we're going to go over in the presentation. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So yeah, thank you. Thank you. Does anybody have anything more to add about last time? Okay. It looks like the next thing on the agenda, Kai, do you have this too? formation of this of the steering committee. You're on mute. You're on mute, Kai. 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 <laughs> I'm not used to all this. Okay. Um I have Matt's agenda. Is is that the basically the one that you sent to him, Frederica? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, I do have that. And so the next thing on the agenda is the, the formation the, committee. The next 
thing on the agenda is alternative uses in Clifford Park formation of steering committee and teams. And that will take up the bulk of this meeting. Okay. I don't understand um, alternative uses, that, that portion. I think what it's just- mean? I can clarify. Um, okay. That's just the title that we've been okay. using. Um, and there was a picture that came, I believe from Dylan that had the big yellow circle on it and it was labeled alternative use area. So I think that's, that's where it's coming from. And what we are doing together is that alternative use. Okay. I think we can come up with a more fun title. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we need a basic steering committee here. And up until now for this past, um, however many months since last summer, I guess we could say 10 months, um, our steering committee has consisted of Marsha Artilio, Kai Cochran and me. Um, and we have been um, involved in the details of getting Kat and Karen uh, to the position where they are now in terms of official um, requirements and setting up these meetings. So um, we would like to have more people involved with us, especially community people um, or anybody who's interested in working on this project. So uh, if there are any of you present who would be interested in uh, helping us, uh, that would be great. And we are I going just... to, go ahead. I'm sorry, I, I thought you were done, I started. Um, we were to just to be clear the the three people that Frederica mentioned, we were initially appointed by the Resilient Hartford Committee as a subcommittee to look into what might be done um, with some of the town parks, and we settled on starting with Clifford Park and the idea of the food forest. We did a survey over the summer. There appeared to be lots of interest and enthusiasm. And that's brought us um, to this point. And at this point, the project now needs a, a steering committee. But I thought before we ask who, who can do what, maybe we should talk a little bit about what kinds of, of skills we need to have on that committee, how, how we see the committee. I'd be happy to chime in. Okay. Um, with some of the roles that I, I see the committee playing. Uh, so Karen and I are contracted to uh, provide expertise for the guidance of, of building the park, um, but we certainly can't lead the committee. Um, the committee is something that needs to be much longer lived than the contract that Karen and I have with the town. Um, as I think most of you know, or, or, or may I let you know that Karen and I are both <laughs> Uh, really involved in a lot of community projects. And um, this is one of them that we're both super interested in. And I can imagine that we will both remain involved in some capacity after our contract is over. There are some limitations with our contract with the town. Um, we are actually not allowed to go on site for work days um, until the contract is over. So the committee will need to have some people that are able to take in the information that we're providing, because we certainly wouldn't send anyone out blindly without information. That's what Karen and I are here for, is to guide you. We'll need somebody who can really execute the hole digging and the measuring, um, uh, guiding loads of materials, uh, wood chips, et cetera, into the park, ideally, at least one member of the committee lives in the neighborhood to make that easy. Um, so those are some of my, my dream qualifications for committee members. Um, and again, you know, Karen and I are definitely involved in the process, but we just can't be actual committee uh, leads. 
Okay. Thank you. It's my understanding that there are, we've, we've talked quite a bit about different roles that people on the committee might have. Or, and um, somewhere I saw a list, it was a really nice little list and I'm not sure where it is now, that, that lists things like fundraising and... Um, I'm gonna share my screen. And working, I, I, I guess, I don't know. Where is it? Well, you know, um, Kai, that was one of them, fundraising. Yeah. Fundraising was one, and here's some more. Great. Thanks, Kat. Uh, ground team. And these were just suggestions. Um, yeah, and we could certainly add or subtract. But, um, mm -hmm. um Marsha had said that she was interested in the fundraising aspect. I am interested in the ground team. Uh, for example, and mainly receiving resources. Recently this week, I met a woman who told me that she and her husband receive a great deal of compost that they don't use. And so I would like, I, I thought, well, this is fine. I could be a contact person for receiving materials and resources like leaves, wood chips, compost, et cetera, um, for the future um, use in this park. So I would just have to find a place where we could put this, put these materials that would be received. Then we need a big action team, which is people digging holes. Yes. Um, and, and I that was late summer, late summer, fall. Uh huh. Um, Katie, Katie Williams, who is my, my younger son's partner and lives here, uh, told me she couldn't be on this, this call, but she told me that she is very interested in, uh, in doing some work for this. And I, um, I think the action team might be, uh, she also said that, that she could be at a meeting one time a month <laughs> and because she's got lots and lots of other stuff that she does. But I think the action team sounds a, a little like like what she might be wanting to be involved with. That sounds great, Kai. And she she might be wanting to be involved with other stuff too, but uh, she definitely wants to be involved. I think for the purposes of the steering committee, um, you, you want someone who's willing to kind of head up something. I mean, the action team is gonna have a lot of people. We're hoping some, um, school kids and so on, but someone who would be willing to organize it. Um, I am, as Frederica mentioned, I am willing um, to kind of take point on the fundraising. I, I will need some guidance and some help, but I'll, I'll take that on. Um, and, you know, I, I, I think we're looking for, for people who are willing to take on leadership roles at this point. And then we kind of can fill in with people who don't want that responsibility, but are, are willing to work in the project later on. I would be willing to, to take on a leadership role in terms of the, the ground team, I think, getting people who would be interested in coming out and helping. Um, I think um, ground, team, ground team has to do with materials. I think you're talking about action. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of a different one. <laughs> Actually, Action. the same word as Katie. Okay. We can change the names too. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that says it better. Oh, that's great, Kai. But I I I, I would like to Excellent. line people up um, and talk to them. I assume we have somebody taking notes for tonight. Yeah, I'm taking notes. Great. 
Um, so on the, the remainder of the um, needs, according to your chart there, Kat, is the design group. Um, I have a feeling that after Karen does her workshop, we're going to get some takers for that group. She's going to get everybody excited about it. I yeah. think so, too. And I think that this uh, entire group is going to evolve. Yeah. So right now, Marsha and Kai and I know what's been going on, and we're willing to take on some of the um, uh, organizational roles. But I think that as more people join in, that could evolve. Right. And, you know, I think in the long term, um, even just... Uh, that later on this year, the the existing committees are going to be the action and fundraising committees. Mm -hmm. At some point, we're going to gather the resources we need, and then we'll have created exist ongoing resources where we can gather things. And the design will be set, but there will always be more design implementation over the years. But so I think action team and and fundraiser are the two that we really need to make sure are solid in the long term. Mm -hmm. This is Laura. I will help Marsha on the fundraising team and uh, I will help on the action team. And I'm kind of like other people trying to cover a lot of different things. So I'll do my best to follow through with each uh, responsibility in those areas. Great. Th yes. Thank you, Laura. Um, I think also, and maybe I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm saying after tonight, but we could we could send out a notice of, of what was discussed um, to members of Resilient Hartford who weren't able to be here and see what roles they'd be willing to take on. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, and also, I mean, there's a couple of people on the call too that we haven't had a chance to introduce themselves. Yeah. Um, it'd be great to hear from them, Ashton and Becky and Nancy, it looks like. Yeah, so that's great. Nancy, can you tell us who you are? You have to unmute. There's, yeah, there we go. Okay, hi. I'm Nancy Russell. I live here uh, in, in Hartford. Um, I serve on the uh, Hartford School Board. I also serve on the Vermont State School Board Association. Uh, I um, am... Um, one of the founders for the Hartford Community Coalition and the Take Bad Out of Hunger programs that, that we have here in Hartford. Uh, I am a, a small business owner uh, who just uh, has, I haven't been able to go back to work because they won't let me because I'm too old, they said, to go back in there because I own a, a licensed childcare center and a, and a private preschool. But so um, I'm, extremely involved in a lot of different things here. I'm also a Rotarian and am the past district governor for our uh, for the lower half of Vermont and the lower half of New Hampshire. Um, Matt had, uh, I had got the invitation uh, from Matt before, and this is the first time I've been able to, to come on to the meetings. So I'm excited to be in there. I'm not quite sure what I can do, but um, I am excited to be able to be part of this group and to, uh, to get Clifford Park where we want it to be. And that's who I am. Awesome. Do you live near Clifford Park, Nancy? I live on Hillcrest Terrace. Hillcrest Terrace and, is near Fairview, is that right? Yes, it is. It's right off of Fairview. Yeah, I know where that is. Yeah. Okay, so you are you in Nancy? White River. I'm on Fairview. Sorry? You're my neighbor. I, I live on Fairview. Oh, do you really? Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. It's great. Okay. It's a beautiful area. I love it. I it love is. It is. I do too. Well, tell us about you, Todd, um, Ashton. Yeah, you were going to call me Todd. Happens all the time. It's the, what, the burden of having two first names, really. Um, I know um, my name always becomes. Oh, great. yeah. <laughs> Although, I don't know if anyone would call you Graham necessarily, but you know. <laughs> um, so I actually know both Matt and uh, Kat. Um, I, I am on uh, the Energy uh, Commission with, with Matt. Um, I joined about uh, 
let's see, 10 months ago now, maybe nine months ago. Um, I'm a recent uh, transplant to the area. I am a Flatlander from Brooklyn. My wife is a uh, uh, first year, just finishing up her first year residency at DH in psychiatry. Um, and I know Kat because I, one of our very first walks in the area where we were walking by um, Simon Dennis's house. And uh, I don't know how many of you guys know Simon. He is awesome and has a beautiful, beautiful backyard. And he invited us in and told us about the this river walk. He and his wife and a group of committed people were trying to uh, create along the Connecticut River and I got really excited about it and you know we, we had a zoom and I was told that in, in no uncertain terms that we were not doing anything until the railroads changed their minds so it's I got really excited about nothing but you know it's still a, a, a great chance to, to meet some great community members and uh, and then yeah I ran into Kat the other day uh, digging holes uh, behind the town hall. And I was like, this looks fun. And I joined her a couple weekends ago, kind of threw out my back, which is why I didn't join last weekend, Kat, apologies. <laughs> <laughs> I am, uh, I'm strong, but I'm tall and my back is just, I'm not good at digging. So when I was, when I was seeing this, this thing about the action team, I was uh, a little, I mean, I'd love to help, but I, I can't, I can't do it every day because I'm I would just end up in traction. Um, I'm so sorry. But, sorry? I'm so sorry. That oh, no, back. Kat. It was honestly, I, I couldn't imagine a, a more satisfying way to uh, pull my back. So it was, it was <laughs> awesome, good service. And uh, I had a great time. And I really wanted to last weekend, but I knew that if I did it, I would just set myself back in, in my road to recovery. So I held off. That's your question. Am I muted? Oh, oh, um, anyway, that's that's about it for me. That's great. Ashton, uh, do you oh, wait, see- I'd like to name my specialties here. So yeah. what I do professionally is I work in social media. Um, I write, uh, you know, the essentially the tweets and LinkedIn posts and Facebook posts and Instagram posts for uh, high-end executives and uh, small companies, things like that. Um, so I, what wasn't listed necessarily in here, but I think could potentially be a very valuable resource to our efforts here is a strong social media presence to um, highlight the, you know, good work going on. Any like visual uh, assets that you guys can send me, I can create a, a bunch of profiles and kind of do a, you know, pro bono, um, you know, social promotion um, on the side for y'all. Terrific. Yeah, I'm sure, sure. That, that'll be really great for us. Yeah, and I, I, I think just having a great narrative about, you know, community coming together and, you yeah. know, trying to do something amazing with uh, the earth around us is, it's a, it's a great story to tell. And I, I like telling those types of stories. And working toward the future. Precisely. Yeah. Right. And um, how about you, Nancy? Where do you, do you see yourself um, uh, being useful? As if I could say that. <laughs> useful wow that's a good one <laughs> um, starting a new society so just name your name what you want to do. Yeah. what would you like to do that's what that i should have said i would love to be able to do some of the physical work but unfortunately i'm i'm not able to do that uh but um maybe with the fundraising i've got a lot of experience uh, helping with that part uh Probably just about any of it, except for the heart, the 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 digging, the digging part. I could plant right. flowers, I yeah. or, or vegetables or whatever I need. I could plant, but I just can't do the yeah, the uh, the hard physical part of it. I just can't do it, unfortunately. Um, wherever you might need me, I I I've been I've been doing this for years, so great. I, I'm more than willing to help wherever you might need me. Wonderful. Just wonderful, Thank really. You. Thank you. Yes, I'm very happy to have you help out with fundraising because I could use all the help I could get. <laughs> I mean, that's a big one, I'll tell you, the fundraising. It is. It's a great project, though, and I can't believe that there aren't some um, people out there that are going to really want to support this. Yeah, and especially. Yeah. People who live in the area it really tells it well. <laughs> oh, I think we we definitely are 
good candidates for a grant from a number of organizations. Mm -hmm. uh, but you do have to be very specific about what you want and how you're going to spend the money and have a budget and all. So it's, you know, it's, it's right. putting together a lot of details. Yeah. Well, Becky, are you ready to tell us about yourself? <clears throat> Yeah, I was trying to spare you guys from watching me eat dinner. Um, so I'm Becky Chalet. I live in Hartford and have been here. We've been here for 11. No, I can't. I don't even remember. Something like that. 11 years, 12 years. Um, and I am a naturopathic physician and I have a practice, private practice here in town as well. Um, and uh, I am passionately trying to learn um, from Karen and Kat about how to how to green up my thumbs and uh, do better uh, do do well by the planet that we live on um, and right now I am maxed out in terms of in terms of the steering committee I am really maxed out with the COVID committee in town um, but as that winds down, uh, I certainly hope to be much more involved with this. Right now, I don't see myself having a leadership role, um, but I'm certainly eager to be more involved as, as um, my time becomes more available and uh, probably would be most interested in participating and contributing or maybe down the road leadership role in um, the action team and design process. Great. Okay, great. great. And I would I consider calling the action team the creation yeah. team. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to put your name down by a, uh, action team, but Becky, I think you, um, you brought up an important point, which is um, when we speak about looking for somebody, for people to step into leadership roles, that's kind of um, intimidating because... I think nobody wants to say, okay, you know, I'll, I'll do the, I'll do it all. <laughs> None of us can do that. So um, if we can just like rename it to, um, uh, I'll be part of the cooperative effort in this area. That might be a little bit less intimidating, right? I, I'll be one of those who uh, for example, me, I'll be one of those who receives um, offers for uh, donations of compost and leaves, which are going to come up in a big way in a couple of months, um, and other resources that we need. But hopefully I won't be the only one doing it. And there will be a group of us uh, mm -hmm. that can call ourselves uh, contact people as opposed to leadership roles. So I, I can be the contact and you can be one of the contacts for the des you know, design for uh, how to do it, how to, how to affect it. Okay, so that's really great. And you said you live in Hartford. Where in Hartford? Because we all live in Hartford. <laughs> uh, I live in the, well, actually I live on the out, I live just outside the historic Jericho district on what I call Jericho Hill, but I don't actually really know truly what it's called. <laughs> Savage Hill? West Hartford, Kai, what is that? Oh, we, we just call, call it Jericho. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my address is technically White River Junction, but. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I wanted to welcome Leah as well. Um, thanks for joining us. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello. Leah, you joined, oh yeah, there you go. You joined late. So I don't want to put you on the spot, but we were. Um, you have any questions, or we're we're trying to figure out who wants to do what on our committee, um, and I'm not sure what you know. So I would um, love to. Invite you. I'll say hello. Um, <laughs> I was trying to listen to two meetings at once, which is not very successful. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try and focus on one at a time. Um, so I 
am interested in the project in general, but uh, with work and family schedules will probably be more available as it happens to work out, like as projects arise or things like that. So I hope there's opportunity like that. Great. Great. What are you interested in, Leah? Um, I could see um, myself and recruiting my husband to do the occasional like work day or um, something like that. Okay. Um, I also, before in the meeting, I had offered um, editing services. Like if you write a grant and you'd like someone to read it and say, Ooh, I would tweak it here. Like I like to do that kind of thing. So I'm always happy to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. And where do you live? Um, I live off of Neal Road in White River Junction. I'm next door, um, John Bouton and jo Judy Simon Bouton. Oh yeah. Okay. I did have an update. Um, that I'd like to share about potential capacity. Um, I had a meeting today with Becca Warren from Vital Communities. Wow. And they are, um, they are showing some interest in wanting to increase resiliency, at, you know, as usual in our, in our local food system and in creative ways. Um, so they're looking for some funding now that, um, you know, there's all this federal funding coming in. So people are coming up with all these creative products. And of course, Vital Community has something in mind. Um, so I let her know about Clifford Park and she was very excited. I also let her know about the rain garden and so many other things that so many of us are involved in. And so um, she, I think what we're envisioning here for the future in the Upper Valley is a more connected food system where there's more networking and resource sharing and collaboration um, right. to help amplify the good work that everyone is already doing. Yeah, they sent, Kat, did you get the, the forward that I sent you about them contacting me about food groups? Oh. In the area? Yeah, actually, when I talked to Becca today, she said she was going to talk to you too. Right, right. Yeah, okay. they're calling around to talk to what they call to uh, food system activists. Right. Leader. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, I think there could be some good collaboration there in the future in terms of funding, because partly what they want to do, what one of the niches that they see needs to be filled is that there are many small projects that could connect larger projects that need funding. Um, so they hope to be able to aggregate that to some of the smaller groups that they're in, in contact with. Um, so it's just, a, it's just an idea right now, but I, I do think that's gonna lead to some promising connections. Um, uh, also, I, I do believe that by the time we get to the big planting in fall, we'll have uh, Hartford High School students involved in Regeneration Corps, um, looking for a place to dig holes. Right. Fantastic. Right, one of the people that I, I'm going to talk to is the principal at the Ottaquichi School, because every, so many people have suggested that we get kids involved with this thing. Um, and she has shown some interest, but I have never actually personally met her. And I, I would like to, she'll be one of the people that I contact and talk to about this and see if she can see a role for the kids and the parents and, and whatever. Is she the principal? At school. What? Is she the principal? The principal of the Ottaquichi School. Well, there is a, I don't even know what her name is. I, I have it in my email, but she is the principal of the, of the Ottaquichi School and she has definitely shown interest in mm -hmm. this Project. Also, have you thought about talking with the uh, the tech center? I Don't actually yes. I reached out yes. to I reached out to the direct uh, the program coordinator of the natural resources program there today, 
Um, and he is retiring, but he right. was, he um, is said he's going to pass on the information to Matt. I think it was Matt Dragon, whoever's taking over his position. Um, so hopefully I will connect with Matt soon about that. And I also right. um, also reached out to Dismas House and um, Jeff Backus is, was very excited about the idea. So he's the director. He was very excited, but he wasn't sure that the residents would be as enthusiastic. And, but you know, you never know, there may be one or two mm -hmm. closet green thumbs there who want to participate. So thank you. Great. That's fantastic, Becky. Thanks. That was the, what was the name of the lady at Vital Communities that you met with, Becca? Becca? Warren, W-A-R-R-E-N. Okay, thank you. I really like yeah. the idea of these smaller groups getting together to share resources and funding. It, it eliminates a lot of duplication. Yeah. 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 There's, um, you know, there's, there's too many busy people um, reinventing wheels. Nancy, when you introduced yourself, I thought, well, just ask a busy person if you want to get something done. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Thank you. That's true. I would be interested in going to the principal of Ottaquichi School with you. Who's this? Frederica. Oh, oh, Frederica. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't set anything up with her, but I'm sure. But let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. And Laura. I didn't yes. ask you if you wanted to introduce yourself and where you might see yourself uh, helping out. Most. Well, I was just thinking of, and I can't think of the name of the group, but they rent from the uh, uh, Upper Valley Food Co-op and they're um, a diversion. Is that what it's called? Oh, diversion. court diversion. Court, court diversion. diversion. Yeah. The, um, people who go through the court system who have to do community service, I'm pretty sure they get referred to court diversion. So that might be something we want to think about too. Yeah. Yes. I, I work with that group. I do court diversion panels. They, uh, it's always possible, but they um, use less and less uh, community service these days. It's not oh. as much a part of the program as it used to be. Oh, and okay. in any case, you'd have to have um, some kind of supervision for people who are doing community service through an official program like that. So, I mean, if there is someone, then we, we could come up with a way to do it, but it's, it's not going to be a major resource because we don't usually assign community service. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, so uh, I'll just answer what Frederica said. And that is, um, I, I was living in Wilder for like 20 years and now I moved a few blocks away and I live off the Christian Street um, area of White River. My address is White River Junction and <clears throat> I've done a variety of things my life uh, as a social worker and a special educator and some of that involved some work here in the local schools. Um, and uh, I've been working with um, Upper Valley Apple Corps and on climate related issues and I uh, and I, it's interesting to hear um, the young man whose last name is Todd, but now I can't think of Todd. I can't remember. Um, but I've spent some time gardening. I think quite a few of us on this call have spent some time gardening over by Simon's um, property there. And um, I wanted to work on fundraising and uh, I'll do everything I can to show up when there are action days. I'm in the process of rehabbing a house right now. Great, thank you so much. So um, say I uh, go to some people that I know in West Hartford and talk to them and, and who are not on this, this uh, meeting right now um, and talk to them and get them excited about it and, and find out what sorts of things they might be interested in doing, then uh, what, what do we do to sort of bring them in? I mean, whom do well, they- Well, one thing, Kai- a central, like, contact? I mean, do they get- I, I would like to be the central contact for resources. 
So that includes people and materials. Oh. So, and I think that then I would pass those names right ahead, right away to Matt Osborne to okay. include. So you would be the person to contact. Uh, yeah, I, I, I volunteer to do that. Okay. I didn't and realize that. Matt anything. would like to do it. Matt, would you like to do that? Yeah, I can do that. Uh, this is part of my staff support to Resilient Hartford. Well, then let's buy, let's uh, pass right by me and go directly to Matt. Okay. Yeah, that would be great if you, if you can do that, Matt, because we need to get, have a central contact place. Yeah, for, for human resources. Yeah, for people who are interested. Yeah. Okay, yeah, great. Really well. So I have a suggestion. And I wonder if there's anyone who likes spreadsheets who would like to um, work with Matt to gather the list of people and create a spreadsheet of for committee and tasks, who's good at what, so that we can be more clear uh, when we're ha having an ask. You know, for instance, if we need a crew to come and manage uh, to unload, oh, can you hear me? Yes, yeah. Okay, I just got a note that my internet is unstable. Um, <laughs> so, I, you know, we, we need some way to aggregate all of the incoming information, Right. what's coming in, resources, um, both in terms of organics and also people. Um, I like that you put those two things together, Frederica. Um, and so I'm envisioning a spreadsheet that we can share on Google Drive. And I know that might leave Kai out. <laughs> um, so I'm, that I'm we can. Kai. Okay. And so that we can stay in touch in between to know what's happening. And say, for instance, I get a, access to a load of materials, I can put it into the spreadsheet. At the last meeting, Dylan and I. Um, agreed that we would review materials that come in. So when we get materials, we want to know where they're coming from. Right. Um, so that we can avoid invasives. Um, and so that we can arrange with Dylan where and when we can drop materials. He did indicate that there was a pretty large area at the park where we could store materials. Um, so yeah. I am volunteering to help with that because I'm very concerned about the resources that we get. So I want to make sure that they're good um, that we're not bringing in snake worms and poison ivy and things like that. Yeah. So I'll review them. Um, but so I think a spreadsheet would be really good. And I wonder if there's anybody that could do that for us. We can probably find someone, but maybe not anybody who's presently on this meeting. I think I know how to do it. Um, I think you go to Google Docs and, you know, I think I know how to do it. Or Sheets. I don't know which. Probably Sheets. It's Google um, Sheets. Right. Yeah. right. And, and I think, I think um, if someone sends me, an, you know, just a document, you know, just a regular email with the names and phone numbers, I should be able to set that up. That's great, Laura. And if you can get okay. it started, we can we can all work together on it. Um, okay. I like to keep spreadsheets as well. It helps to keep my many projects organized. Do you um, want to um, send me a note of what categories you want included on the sheet or do you want me to just figure that out? Um, well, I think we could start with the four categories. So I put them in the chat um, just so everyone knows that anyone who's taking notes tonight. Um, I put those four teams that we were calling, of course, we can change the name. We already had a suggestion to change one. Um, and so I would just start with those four categories um, and then a list of the people with their contact. Now, maybe I could make the next page, the next page be uh, resources, who donating, when, yeah. and, um, and well. how has uh, uh, Dylan approved and has, yeah. um, what's right. your name, um, Frederica scheduled to uh, 
receive, something like that. So people could then just fill in. Does that make sense for a second that's page? Sounding, that's that's sounding like a great place to start. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Laura. Sure. We can also keep track of funding on the same spreadsheet as we apply for grants, that sort of thing. We can keep a budget there mm -hmm. um, so that we can have sort of a central database of our Clifford Park project. And, um, you know, we, Karen and I will be helping to build out that budget as we come to realize which things we need to buy. Um, part of what I'm contracted for and, and Karen is to help identify those bought in resources. Um, and where we would get them and help to procure donated resources as well. Okay, I'd like to um, give a time check. There's about 10 minutes to go. And we have two things, including, well, three things. Next steps, a workshop promotion and adjournment. <laughs> so mm -hmm. uh, the next steps, um, I'd like to brainstorm with everybody what our next steps would be. Uh, I'd like to volunteer to send Laura um, the list of the four categories and people that I have listed that signed up for them, um, plus a donation that was recommended. Somebody wants to donate compost. So uh, those things on the four categories might help you get started on your spreadsheet. Does anybody else um, want to add to the next steps? Uh, I'd like to add one thing. I think that we need to uh, write up a little review of this meeting to give to Matt to put out to the entire group of emails that we have so that people can begin to feel included um, by receiving these emails. Is that okay? Is that okay with you, Matt? Is that okay with everybody? I think that sounds good. I do too. Yep, sounds great. Yeah. And I'll also include a link to the recording. Okay. And I've been taking notes too that I'll send to you, Matt, in case they're useful. That's yes, I, I think that's a that's a good idea. Um, that Karen? And it, for people who couldn't make this this meeting mm -hmm. but want to be involved uh, further, and to encourage people to attend um, the first workshop next week, which unfortunately I'm gonna have to miss because I realize I'm gonna be in Boston that day and I won't be back till after nine. When is the workshop? May 26th. The 26th. Uh, what time? What time, Kat? What time is it, Kat? 6.30. 30. 30. Beautiful, okay. 6.30 to eight online. It there. will be recorded, um, so you'll be able to watch it afterwards, Marsha. Um, Good, thank you. I, I could suggest one more step now, a physical step that um, if we can find people to do it, I suspect this might be something Kai likes to do. Um, we need to measure the space. Ah. We need to mark out the circle that is on that slide into a physical line at Clifford Park. Um, and just to clarify too, that circle, I think I put on there as part of the, like um, a potential design form, but the square that's outlining the, is on the outside is like the area of use. Oh. It's the same so area. It's just the circle with this, with imagine it, you know, with the full corner. I got you. And so um, whoever does the measuring will probably just need to just double check with Dylan about the exact site, maybe meet with him one time to verify that. I think that's an excellent suggestion, Kat. Great. Um, and I would suggest just marking it with posts or something safe um, and visible to people walking. Um, I often use paint, but we need it to last a little while. Um, so let's not do that. Let's use markers. Um, but so I, I, I would love to do that, but I, I can't go on the site right now. 
Um, so, and it doesn't have to be a circle. We just wanna define the space that we're working in so we can begin to measure square feet and cubic feet of materials. So do you need someone to do it or is? Yes. Uh, I mean, I can go down and do that. I thought you might like You that. already volunteered, you Kai. <laughs> um, sure. When do you need it by? Um, you know, that's just the very first physical step on the site. So I would say that, um, you know, we're going to meet next week and have this presentation. I'd like to leave some time at the end of the presentation to invite people to join our committee and have some discussion um, and answer questions and, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and I hope to also provide a timeline, um, a suggested timeline. It'll be a little difficult to make a timeline because it's really going to be up to the committee to get the work done. But I'll, I'll provide a basic timeline so that we can stay on track to be able to plant in the fall. Okay. And I'll be able to do that next week. So uh, the sooner we can mark out the space, the better. I mean, we're it's we're at the starting line. We now we get to run. Mm -hmm. Frost is over. Yep. Okay, I'll get it to you as soon as I can. I'll probably measure it this weekend. Great. Yeah, and maybe you know when you do that, Kai. If you want to physically mark the space just so it's done and we don't have to do that again, that's fantastic. Uh, uh, and what do you suggest that I mark it with? Um, I would bring a sledgehammer and Duncan <laughs> <laughs> and um, some uh, one by stakes okay, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Something with a point to get it in the ground and tall enough so that people will not trip over it. Okay. And uh, um, that ribbon around it, what do you call that? Would, would we actually mark it off like with a ribbon or something or you know let's get I don't some think you need to go that far we don't need just to put keep the people stakes out in around okay yeah okay. just mark the stakes with you know you can ask Leela how you should mark the stakes okay <laughs> <laughs> she can help help they me do need it to be painted <laughs> let's do it um, and do I have everyone's permission to at least uh, create the, you know, pro or at least own the usernames for the various uh, social uh, profiles for the Clifford Park Food Forest? Is that the is that the name that we're going with? I don't know. We haven't really discussed that. You don't have a name. All right. But let's take so a vote right now on the name. And Ashton, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah, it sounds great to me. <laughs> Clifford Park Food Forest. I like it. I think it I sounds. Do I do too. Yeah, I, I think I think that sounds good too. Yeah. I mean, it kind of sounds maybe like a like a mall food court, but I don't see why that wouldn't drag people. <laughs> I think that like, could only be a plus, you know. <laughs> we'll we'll rely on your skilled narrative to take us away from the food court. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we lean into it. I, I go there. Oh, okay. Way. All right. I'll try that. Maybe a flashing neon sign. Yeah. Food for rest, food for Becky, did you have something to say? Oh, that, that? That, I was actually going to ask whether there was any um, visual that we could, that Ashton could be employed to disseminate about um, Kat's presentation next week so that we get, I know I'm sure Matt's going to put it on the listserv, which is awesome, but I'm just wondering how else we can get these meetings and um, these yeah, and Kat's trainings. Well, as soon as we send the email around, just everyone can, you'll have my email, you can feel free to dump whatever visual assets you get if you're there on a digging day, if you're there on a fundraising day, if you, someone comes up with a, you know, graphic design, anything, just send in my way and I can, uh, I can, you know, turn it out for us. How about a little contest to create a logo? Okay. I love it. I, I could, I could try working on that. Yeah. What the contest or the logo? <laughs> the logo. <laughs> okay. I have a good friend. It's not just me. I, I, I think everybody should, everybody who wants to should, should try to have some suggestions. 
Well, one suggestion is that when we get the kids involved, they like to do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Some create ones. pictures. Uh huh. For it. You know, the kids in our area here in Hartford, I know for a fact, are <clears throat> because of COVID, have been having a tremendous amount of problems with mental health. And I think if we could get some of these kids involved in some of this, that this is good outdoor um, work and using they are, their minds for something other than trying to figure out how they're going to get all their schoolwork done and how they're not being able to do this and that. And I think this would be a great opportunity to present it to the schools. And um, I would like for someone to come and present it to our school board and see if we can't get it in, get more uh, than just the Atacuichi school, uh, but but to get all of the schools involved in it, I think it's a great opportunity to get um, the community involved in a community project. Right. Nancy, when is your meeting? Uh, we have one more. Let's see, we have another one next Wednesday. Here's the thing. It's the end of the school year. Is that the last meeting? No. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> well, um, could you? No, we have meetings all year round. Can you um, put uh, us on the agenda? Absolutely, I can. Convenient, um, you know, opening and let us know. I would be absolutely happy to come and bring. I, be, I would love to Marcia do that. Hi, <laughs> I volunteer, my <laughs> Marcia, to come to and talk about this project to the schools. I would love to do that. Okay, great. I'll do that. Thank you. I am a retired yeah. teacher. I'm at oh, the are you? Yes. You're certainly welcome to use the slides, Frederica, if you need a visual presentation. Yeah, that'd be great. That's, that's okay. a good idea. That always keeps people's attention more than just someone talking. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm wondering if we have um, everyone's email that's on this call in one place. We can all put our emails in chat. Yeah, if that would be great if you could sure. do that, then I will put a I'll make a list here too. You have mine. Yes, I do. <laughs> Frederica, how are you feeling about the next steps portion of the meeting? Um, I think we've got a few wonderful next uh, steps in uh, including um uh creating this presentation at the schools, sending a um, summary of our meeting to Matt to send out to the uh, email list. Um, Matt is already on top of it for advertising the May 26th workshop. And uh, we have many ideas now in the fire, including this logo um and we're going to measure the space what and we are going to measure the space measure the space and uh, i have, I have eight, another one that that i would like to say i am going to do which is to contact a number of people in west hartford and talk with them about what they would what they would like to do i'm sure yeah now is the time like to participate. friends okay <laughs> including family. <laughs> <laughs> and tell them they've been volunteered. <laughs> um, I was gonna, was gonna say with family, you, you get to do the kind of arm twisting you can't do <laughs> with, uh, with other people. But yeah, this is this is, is the time when we're, we're kind of building the, the human infrastructure for the project. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Becky, was it you that was talking about the tech center? The, the director of natural resources and you're going to speak to that person yeah i'm waiting to be connected with the new uh the per new person in charge of that program for next fall is richard sending you the information becky uh it was tom osler who i was connecting with so okay. tom said he would connect okay. me with matt dragon should i ask rich i can ask him nope nope you got it that'll be fine too yes absolutely Thank you. Okay, and Kat is going to be talking to Becca, Becca Warren of Vital Communities. 
I well, I have already spoken with her and I'll, I'll, I'll continue to be in touch, but my big next step uh, is to create the presentation for next week. That's yeah. right. Okay. So as everybody finishes their jobs here, um, I think that, um, I don't know, Matt, do you want to receive that information? Like I, I did what I was supposed to do and um, um, then it can go into the email to inform our larger and in growing public uh, of Clifford Park residents and so forth that this project is going forward and this is what people are doing. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Um, okay. I do have a request though. Um, mm -hmm. When I send out to that list, I try to respect people's privacy. So I send it out blind copy. And well, that's if fine. Everyone, if does a reply all, it goes to everybody on that list. Yeah. So I'd, I'd suggest not inundating people with, um, with things that maybe, you know, we shouldn't involve them like in things that we talk about. I see. So that's my suggestion. Well, I think we, that's a very we, good point. We, yeah, we have to create a new list. For example, this, this list of people that are here tonight um, can receive the summary of what we did tonight. Yeah, we can create we can create a separate list of people that are participating in, with the steering committee. Okay. Yes, and Laura's spreadsheet will help us uh, with that. Yeah, and we'll would you add people as would you create the separate list, Matt? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> right. Then I will. Uh, leave it up to you to see who gets what. Thank you. Okay, so then the workshop promotion, that is up to you, Matt. And, yeah, and um, you know, Ashton. Ashton. Um, do you have, you know, is there any help you could give me on on promoting yeah, the workshop. I mean, I just, I need whatever kind of assets or briefing about the workshop that, that you have. And I can, um, I can certainly help create some, some copy of it. Okay, great. Thank you. I mean, it, you want to just put it on the listserv? Is that, is that the? Well, I'm going to do the listserv. We'll do the town website. The town does have a Facebook and Twitter. Um, okay that I can do. The only thing is like I sent them a, a flyer and I don't know, I guess there were some challenges with the colors that I had in the flyer that it didn't work out and I'm not yeah. real familiar with, with that. So, you know, it's just important, you know, with a week to go that we, we get the word out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought but you were also, did the entire list of people that had responded to the survey. Yes. That's the list that we have. Okay. That I've, been, I, I've sent to send it to. Yeah. So send me what you have, Matt, and uh, I'll I'll create some some copy around this tomorrow. Okay. And can you put a catchy title to it, like everybody who's anybody will be at this workshop? <laughs> or the cool the cool kids workshop. <laughs> um. Ashton, I don't know that you and I are Facebook friends, but let's make that happen because I can help. All right, Brad, I'll, um, you I'll send you a, I'll send you a invite or a whatever you call it. Add friend. <laughs> yeah, friend. Great. Wonderful. Okay. Well, this has felt really productive. Yeah. If there's any, anything else concerning next steps, um, now speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> Thanks, Frederica. <clears throat> and then uh, we could adjourn. Well, so great meeting you all. And uh, I'm, I'm excited yeah, to be a part of this. Thank you for your well, energy, thank Ashton. You. Yeah. That's really, That's really, 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 you know. And everybody.
Hey everyone, I also just put a, the notes to the uh, meeting in the chat in case you want it for your own records. And Matt, you can use those for editing. Or I mean, not editing, adding to yours. Okay, great, thank you. Thanks, Karen. All right, everyone, great. see ya. And I'll, I'll send the link to the recording and the chat to you, Matt. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank Good night. Bye -bye. Thanks. Good night. Bye. Good night. Thank you very much. Thanks, Matt. Mm -hmm.